Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a little day in the life vlog for you guys today. I'm going to show you how I make my protein waffles. I literally have you sitting on my ledge because I don't know why but my hands are super shaky and I haven't gotten a tripod yet. So we're sitting on my windowsill and Zaya is right here. She's, she's looking out the window because she's going to catch a little a little birdie outside. You can't catch the bird through the window, silly girl. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how I make my protein waffles because I get a ton of questions, so I'm gonna take you along for that and just a little day in my life. We'll vlog, take you with me. I don't know what I'm gonna bring for lunch today. I think I'm gonna take ground turkey tacos because I made ground turkey. I need to eat that, so I'm gonna do that. I'll take you guys with me. We're going to the sugar factory tonight with some friends. I'm getting a spray tan after work. If you watch my Instagram stories, you saw my embarrassing spray tan line. That was ridiculous. I seriously roast myself so much on there that it's just, I don't know why I do it, but I do. I roast myself a ton on there. Anyways, I'm gonna take you with on my day, and yeah, Zaya wants to say hi one more time. She's reaching for the camera. She said hello. Let's go make waffles. Okay, this is literally all you need. It is four ingredients. It's one scoop of protein, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Make sure you're using baking powder, one egg, and just like a splash of unsweetened original almond milk is what I use. You can use regular milk. You can do whatever floats your boat. I just add in a little bit until I get like the desired consistency that I want. And I also use this waffle maker. It is the mini Dash, I believe. Yeah, Dash. I got it at Target. It's like $9. Super affordable. Super cute. It makes three waffles. This recipe makes three waffles. And when you're putting the batter in, three tablespoons is the perfect amount to prevent overflow. Trust me, that took a lot of freaking trial and error because I was getting a ton of overflow. <laughs> but I've figured out that three tablespoons is the perfect amount to make perfect little three waffles and it fills me up so much protein literally a scoop of protein powder egg baking powder and almond milk that is all that's in there and it's delicious i also like to top my waffles with some buckeyes butter you can top it with whatever you want you can you can even do fruit i have blueberry cheesecake protein that one of my followers messaged me and they're like it is so good with fresh blueberries so i need to try that out i haven't personally but i have no doubt in my mind that it is amazing so definitely got to get on that. Anyways, I'm going to make these and show you what they look like. Okay, this is the finished product. I topped them with some Bomar Buckeyes butter. I'm seriously obsessed with this. Let me show you the macros. Ah, I'm not gonna focus. Okay, two tablespoons is 170 calories and 10 grams of protein. That is much better than any peanut butter, so love using that. And then I just use sugar-free syrup, and like I said, it makes three perfect waffles and i know i'm gonna get questions some days i can finish all three and some days i can finish one and be done so it really truly depends on the day and how hungry i am also you can use whatever flavor protein you want of bomar's whey protein i've used french toast i've used cinnamon roll and i have used blueberry but i haven't put fresh blueberries on top which ooh, that sounds amazing but you can rotate and go through whatever flavors you want my top four making waffles are going to be pancakes and syrup protein french toast and cinnamon roll are my favorites and then blueberry cheesecake so yep make sure you spray your waffle thing with um non-stick spray in between the batter because when i don't do that it like sticks to the waffle maker and yeah i've just i've learned from my waffle making experience i literally have this breakfast every single day it is packed with protein and it's delicious so i love it also pre-ordering this beautiful thing as soon as freaking possible it is the cutest thing i've ever seen i love my loopy case i used to be a die hard um 
what's the word pop socket and I just kept breaking it like I would like squeeze in between things or something like in between a wall and it would just pop off so my loopy doesn't do that I love my loopy I can literally like throw my phone around like look at that speed and it's not going nowhere so I'm gonna order this new loopy case or pre-order it I have no idea how long it actually it's gonna take to get here but leopard is like my jam it's like 2011 zebra print I was obsessed my entire room was pink zebra print I will I will find pictures and I will post pictures because we've learned thus far I love exposing myself on my Instagram so stay tuned on my stories I will expose my pink leopard my pink zebra moment ah, I'm so excited four minutes until mint chocolate chip launch I really need to get myself a tripod maybe we're going to Best Buy in this vlog maybe after my spray tan. Anyways, I am headed into work for the day. I'm really sorry if you can hear my air conditioning in the background. Sorry, I should have shut that off before, but whatever. Anyways, I'm dealing with this monster on my lip. Literally, my entire face and it has to pop up in the most painful spot. Thank you, love that for me. Anyways, I'm going to work. I have my lunch. I just have my ground turkey taco and a Greek yogurt, my Dan and Lighten Fit. They're so dang good and there's so many flavors, so good. My hydro jug and then I have my purse with my computer because I like to edit while my baby naps. If you don't know, I do currently nanny for a family in town. I love it, it's great, it works, and yeah. I have just finished with my spray tan. This lighting is not making me look tan. But anyway, she just did a natural tan. I'll show it more when I get home, but I really like it. I didn't want anything too dramatic. I wanted to still look like a human. So she gave me a nice natural tan and I really like it. I will put her Instagram information in the description box. She was super sweet. I'm super excited to be tan without having to sit in the sun. I do not enjoy laying in the sun for hours. Also, like skin cancer, who wants that? No one, no one, I don't want that. The weather here is super freaking weird. Like, look at how foggy it is. What is this? It is super freaking foggy, not a fan. Anyways, I'm going to run to Best Buy. I have to get a tripod because sometimes my hands are like shaky or sometimes I wanna hold my camera like up higher and tripod would just be so much easier. I made it home from Best Buy. I went and picked up my tripod i laughed at myself sending you guys up here literally on my container of greens and sharp currently that's why i bought this bad boy because i set you guys on the weirdest things this morning you were on my windowsill now you're on my sharp and my greens it's great i hope you guys enjoy this this setup anyways i'm starving but i don't want to have like a huge meal or like anything like that so i'm just gonna make a protein shake I've discovered this beautiful combination of half cookies and cream and half mint chocolate chip and I'm never gonna do anything ever again. I'm just convinced that it doesn't get any better than this, like seriously. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm really OCD so I have to make it like perfectly half and half of each. Anyone can relate. Let me know. Also, the sun is finally back to shining. It was just super gloomy like in the last clip. And now it's sunshine and rainbow and 80 degree weather. But it was just super freaking gloomy, like up by the coast. California's weird. I don't understand it. Oh, you guys, look at that. Half and freaking half. What more could you want in life? Literally nothing. Say less. Zaya is behind the camera eating my, eating my decor. Can, can you please not? Can you not eat my decor? She said, no mom, I'm gonna eat your decor. Okay, blend this bad boy up and then I'm gonna unbox my, my tripod because I'm super excited about that. I didn't know, there's literally like a thousand tripods that you can get, so I just made Chelsea send me a link to one and hopefully it works out, I don't know. I, I have to like, there's nowhere to set my phone when I record in the gym. Oh, my rubber mixer is going a little crazy. There's nowhere to set my phone when I, or my, my phone, my camera when I record in the gym. So I'm probably gonna have to like stand this up somewhere or put it, like wrap it around the, the Stairmaster. Oh my God. 
literally could not ask for anything more in my life okay i'm gonna unbox this i'm gonna put it on the camera and show you guys like i said i just got a spray tan that is why i'm in my bandeau i don't normally just walk around my house now i look naked promise not naked and voila we finally have a tripod on our hands wow would you look at that does this make me an official vlogger is this what it's like to be a vlogger these are so cool look at these little thingy bobbers and you can wrap them around whatever i don't want to shake you guys too much to make you dizzy feel like you're on a roller coaster but that is exciting wow wow Look at that. Even Zaya's impressed. She's like, wow. High five. Okay, cool. Zaylee, what do you think of the tripod? What do you think? Do you think it's super cool? Can I have a kissy? Love you. Okay, I'm going to stop walking around my house in my swimsuit. It's literally 65 degrees in my house. My husband likes to keep the AC on. 65. We can't even settle for like a 67 or a 68. It has to be 65. And I promise I'm not naked. I have my bandeau on. So I'm going to go change into clothes and start getting ready for the sugar factory. I downed that protein shake because it literally tasted like a milkshake. I'm not joking. Tastes like a milkshake. I am now having another snack. I'm a snack queen. This case natural protein cookie bite. Amazing. 125 calories. 12 grams of protein for the whole bag and they taste like cinnamon toast crunch and they're shaped like those frosted weedy cereal amazing anyway mm. Mm -mm. if you're not dancing when you're eating you're not eating the right things i wanted to pop on and talk about my extensions that i'm currently using if you've been watching my instagram stories you know that i'm really looking into hand tied extensions because i hate doing this i hate doing this so much but right now i'm using the halo couture couture couture, couture words i don't know how you pronounce that halo couture that brand they're 20 inch i have the shade number 60 and I like them. I'm not going to hate on them. I just, I hate that I toned my hair and they don't match perfectly now. I hate that I can't, I literally always wear my hair in like a big bun. Like that's my thing. I've always done that big bun, top of my head. That is my thing. So I can't do that with this because obviously it sits on the crown of my head, which is why I have my hair tied up the way I do. If you can see it, expose my roots. I need to go see Tiffany ASAP. Anyways, I can't wear my buns. I can't do what I want to do. I can do like low ponies and low buns, but it's just not the same. And I have to do this. So you have to split your hair up into like a crown. So basically I just took this little utensil guy and I went like this all the way around. And then I just tied my hair up. And as you can see, there's a little string and you literally just flip it in just like this. I feel like Hannah Montana. You flip it in just like this. Pull it to the front. Do not come at me about it not matching completely. I'm fully aware and fully irritated for us both. And it looks like that. And then you just untie your hair. And I take this little comb. And I just brush through the little string like that. Just to get any like tiny piece of hair that would be able to be seen through that string. Just to get that out. There it is. I don't know if you can see the string or not. But you really can't in person. No one has ever noticed them. I go out and people are like, oh I didn't even know like, you had extensions in. But that is what it looks like. I hope you guys can see like the full effect. Obviously my normal like natural hair is like, curled with the rest of it. That is what I'm gonna do right now, but this is what they look like, but I can only keep it down since it sits at the crown of my head. I can't put a big bun and I just, I wanna wake up with this much hair and this long of hair. So I think we might be doing hand tied extensions. 
stay tuned. Anyways, I'm gonna curl this. I'm gonna put my makeup on. Don't worry, I will come back when I'm doing my makeup. But don't know I'm gonna get questions about that too. BRB! My camera died on me and my dad called as I was putting my makeup on so I didn't really get to explain what was going on because I wanted to talk to my dad. But I try to show you guys the products. I will maybe do like a full in-depth makeup tutorial. I swear to you guys I'm not good at makeup. I promise I'm not good at makeup. I literally just slap this stuff on and hope for the best. Some days it comes out and most days it doesn't. But you know this is the finished product. I showed you my foundation and my concealer and that was it I think. And then my my camera battery died so this is the finished look my hair falls out like the curls don't stay as tight which I like I like a more beachy like relaxed laid-back vibe I think it's super cute and I need hand tied extensions because I want to wake up like this I don't want to have to put the, the things in you know I just want them to be there anyways I'm gonna go change I have no freaking clue what I'm gonna wear to the sugar factory this is why I have a tripod because I like to hold my camera right here and I need to hold it like up here for you guys. I'm learning. I'm trying my best. Anyways, I'm going to go through my closet. I really don't know what I want to wear tonight to the sugar factory. <sighs> After you lose 140 pounds, it really, you have to rebuild your wardrobe and no one tells you just quite how long that takes because there's certain occasions like tonight, like where I want something cute, like a little cute look cute fit and I I have nothing so let's go see what I can put together I'm probably just gonna end up wearing like a sweater and jeans and my slip-on shoes I don't know we'll find out let's go let's go check my closet out I lied or taking a pit stop in my fridge I got some bomb ass grapes at Albertsons do you hear that crunch I, I hope you heard that crunch mmm Mm, mm, mm. I would live for a crunchy grape. Ah! Amazing. I just spent a solid like 15 minutes in my closet and I still don't have an outfit. So I'm taking a break. I'm going to eat before we go out. I am smart because I'm not going to spend $40 on a hamburger or something. The sugar factory is fun, like the experience is fun, but the food like is just okay in my opinion. So I'm gonna eat so I'm not like hungry there. I'm sure I'll get like a cool drink, but that is it. I'm gonna have some jelly turkey meat and some Colby Jack cheese for a little snack. I'm just been a snack queen tonight. I didn't finish my waffles or my, my lunch, so that's probably why. So I'm gonna eat this and hopefully Next time I pop in, I'll have an actual outfit on. Stay tuned. This is truly 
as good as it's getting. When you can't figure out what to wear, you just go back to the basics. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with a little black tank and some cute Abercrombie jeans, which seriously, you guys, I, I literally am going to work at Abercrombie because I'm obsessed, obsessed with Abercrombie. Their denim, just kiss, amazing. I'm going to plop on some cute little, I have these, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. I think I want to bring my... Damn, what shoes do I wear? Also, have no shoes. Also, lost shoe sizes when you lose weight. Things I don't tell you. I think I'm gonna bring this. This is me being the post-op bariatric patient that I am. I live my life constantly shivering. Honestly, you guys, my lips turn purple from time to time. But, this is the fit. These are the Abercrombie Mom jeans. I have them linked, I believe. I'm gonna like to know, and I'm so sorry. The lighting is trash in here. Wow, I suck today world's worst vlogger today anyways so i need to figure out my shoe situation i really didn't think that one through maybe i'll just wear birkenstocks i don't know josie texted me and said she forgot to make reservations and i don't think you can show up to the sugar factory without making reservations <laughs> so literally who knows where this night is going to end up nick is finally just heading home from work it is seven o'clock at night another reason i hate the marine corps literally left for work at like 6 30 this morning that's ridiculous so i'm gonna make him some toast and eggs before i head out be a nice wife and literally seriously who knows where we're gonna end up i have no idea i need these in black because they're my favorite shoe you literally just slip them on i think i got them at pink lily i will link them they're linked in my like to know it with literally everything else but i'm obsessed i'm also obsessed with this tripod it makes my life so much easier oh my god i need to get hand dyed extensions you guys oh. <laughs> i have always wanted to have like thick long blonde hair and i've just never been able to do it because my hair is so like fine and thin that even if i did have long hair it would just be thin so i'm living my dream right now and i will live my dream even better when Tiffany puts in hand tied extensions. You know what I'm saying? How is the the eggs and toast? Mm. Yummy. Ten out of ten. Mm -hmm. Pound it. Twenty out of twenty. Yes, that's the energy we like. It's at ten thirty eight PM. I am just getting home from the Cheesecake Factory. I literally didn't order any food because like you guys saw, I had turkey and cheese because I thought we were going to the sugar factory. So anyways, I didn't end up ordering any food. So I just got some cheesecake and I brought Nick Homeless Life. So I'm super excited. I got the Oreo Dream and then I got him the Red Velvet. And I'm having a little bit before I go to bed because that looks too dang good not to. Anyways, that is where I'm ending today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next videos.